So I've had this curiosity question burning for a while, and that is, what happens if I take standard hunting type ammunition through a 6.5 Creedmoor bolt action hunting rifle, and I punch it into some ballistics gel at 200 yards? What would that be like? What would that look like? What kind of results would I get? That's what we're doing today on Precision Rifle Network. So guys, I bought this big block of ballistics gelatin. You know, the stuff the FBI uses for, you've seen it, I don't need to explain it. Anyway, it's a 10% gel block. It's probably 10 inches will be my target size. And I thought, I'm gonna, at first I thought, I was like, I'm gonna put it out there at like 600 yards and see if I can, you know, what that'll look like putting around on there in terms of penetration and expansion and whatever with a hunting rifle with standard hunting ammunition and I thought nah you know what actually if you look at the statistics for all of of the United States the vast majority of of deer size animals that are taken are taken less than 200 yards so I thought ah, we're still a, we're still a long range channel so I'm gonna put the ballistics gel block out at 200 yards today and we're gonna punch it with three different types of ammunition here that are fairly standard some considered a little better than others but I just wanted to see what the results might be in terms of penetration and the wound channel and all that kind of stuff. I'm hopefully going to get some slow motion down there for you guys. Some through the scope footage as well, not this scope, but the spotting scope. And we're going to be shooting the rifle. So uh, first up, let's just say the ammunition. So I've got um, some Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip. Again, this is 6.5 Creedmoor. It's 140 grain. And this is a typical you know, match grade hunting round from these guys. Uh, deer, antelope, black bear, rapid controlled expansion. It's got the little polymer tip, kind of like the Hornady stuff does, right? Then I've got the Norma Whitetail. And again, 6.5 Creed, 140 grain. Again, rapid expansion, right? This is supposed to be a hunting round. And then we've also got the Burger, uh, and this is the 135 grain classic hunter in 6.5 Creed. So I, these are the three ammos that we're going to be testing. I actually also have some hand loads that I might throw down there after we're all done. But first thing, let's just talk about the rifle and then we're going to get into the shooting down there. So I'll leave some chapter markers for you guys so you can skip ahead if all you really care about is seeing the gel block explode. Um, but let's start with the rifle. So as you can tell, this is sitting in a Manners stock. This is a Terminus Zeus action because I'm all about that switch barrel life. Here we've got a proof carbon chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, finished at 24 inches. I've got the MDT comp brake up here on the front because I want reduced recoil and I love the little port system up here so I can manage that muzzle flip. I've got the Vortex Razor HD LHT, the Hunter style scope up here on top. And uh, I've got a Coltec cheat sheet here. Again, PRN10 for anything over at Coltec. Get you 10% off. Um, and a few other companies, right? I always leave a link down in the description of the videos, which goes to my website. And there's a whole list of affiliate sponsor deals and, uh, and discounts and things like that. Like yesterday on Facebook, I just posted a deal from Graybo Stocks. Like nice stocks, guys. That stock was over 50% off simply because of a little paint chip. Go check them out. There's some good deals. And also we've got the rear bag uh, called the Airfoil. This is from Ryan Cheney ELR. Great little bench rest or prone long range bag. It's got a little air bag inside of it that adjusts your fine details. That's where we're going today, guys. Let's get into first shots with these different ammos. I'm going to need to make sure that they are perfectly zeroed before I punch the, uh, the gel block because I don't want to be guessing where they're going to hit on that gel block down there. So I'm going to start with what I think will be the least accurate of the ammos. That's going to be the Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip. We're going to find out. I'm going to put it on paper for each of these, shoot it down in the gel block for each of these, and we'll get this thing going. All right, guys, first up is the Ballistic Silver Tip. It's on paper at 100 yards. I'll hopefully zoom in on that camera down there so you'll be able to see it a little bit better. But I am going with the top 
line of dots. Hopefully we'll be close. Fairly close. All right, we're actually only about a tenth low, so I'm gonna leave that one right there. I'm gonna go down and get that ballistics gel block set up. I'll switch over to that view for you guys. Fairly certain this thing's gonna have holes in it. We're gonna give her a shot. Ugh. I didn't realize how heavy this stuff was. I bet this block is 50, 60 pounds. We should be pretty well lined up. I'm fully expecting this stuff to punch out the side or down into the table or something. But I'm hoping we get lucky on that. And all three rounds will stay inside the middle. Okay guys, here we go. Well, it's a bummer that that hit dead center. I'll know to come up a little bit more for the next rounds. We got a good impact, really good impact, but it's dead center, which means we got to be a little bit more precise with the other two rounds, but we'll make her work. Let's go down and check out that block. That is pretty legit. That's the ballistic silver tip at 200 yards. It's completely contained. That is a 20 inch long block. Maybe it's 16, I'll verify and put it on the screen. But you can see the damage there. You can see the good expansion. All pieces of that bullet stayed inside that block. Pretty cool. All right guys, now we're at 100 yards with the normal white tail. Again, just trying to get a group so I know where to adjust for when I shoot the gel block. I think it's just right at the bottom edge. Okay, normal white tail at 200 yards on the gel block. Try to hit top left, or I'm sorry, top right this time on that block. We definitely hit on the right hand side. Hate spiders. We definitely hit on the right hand side. I'm gonna need to add another two tenths of dope to each of these. They're definitely running slow. Regardless, we hit it. Let's run down and see what we got going on. Unfortunately on this one, because I hit so far to the right, I was, I was aiming right, but I hit further than I wanted to. Uh, it came out of the back right about here, and I'm not going to be able to find that bullet most likely. But you can see, pretty significant amount of damage. That was the normal white tail, 140 grain 6.5 Creed. Good initial expansion. I'm going to measure these for you guys as well almost like a secondary, like that wound channel is pretty significant. Bigger than the last one. Hit her right here. All right, you guys, Burger 6.5 Creedmoor, 135 grain classic hunter. No special tip, just special purpose, special design. I don't know, we'll see. I expect this to shoot pretty well, but you just never know. It's gonna be a few feet per second faster, but it's gonna be negligible, I think. Okay, next dot to the right on that top line, here we go.
All right, that zero is perfect. Dead nuts. I'm gonna go get the uh, gel block camera rolling. Put a round on target down there. And try to hit low left, or a favor low left here. Boom. That hit exactly where we wanted it. Beautiful. Okay, let's go check the gel block. All right, so this guy is that lower one, kind of right down in here. That's the burger. All pieces of that stayed in as well. In fact, that penetrated the least. It actually punched through probably three or two or three inches further than the others before expansion. Significant wound channel, just like the others, but it all stayed right in that that zone and didn't punch out the back. That seems like a pretty good thing. You can see, but check out all those, check out all those bullet pieces. That is pretty sweet. Neat, very cool. All right, you guys, again, here's the groups at 100 yards with the different ammos. I will get the actual numbers posted on the screen for you, but here we've got the ballistic silver tip right there. Here we've got two shots in the same hole and one over here, and that is from the Norma. I'm probably going to put another group on this one just because I'm curious. This little sucker is very small, and that is from the Burger here at 100 yards. So pretty impressed on that one, and especially down there. Also with the expansion, I don't know. I'm just going to call this early unless somebody else objects, but Burger for the win as usual. In my mind, if I was to put these in order, winner to loser or first, second, third, the burger would come out, the Burger Classic Hunter 135 would come in first based on the fact that it shot a tiny little group, sub half inch at 100 yards, and the wound channel here at the, the uh, 200 yard mark. I mean, our penetration, let me measure this guy up for you, it was this lowest one. So we've got a total of 17 inches of penetration. It actually started expanding at the six inch mark and all that damage was between six and 12 inches and none of that came out the backside. Uh, that seems pretty great to me, significant amount of damage. Um, next up would be the normal white tail, okay? And that's gonna be actually our guy on this side that came out the side a little bit so I'm not gonna be able to tell you fully how far that one went but I'll go to the end of where I can see actually yeah where I can see so that guy went 16 inches started expanding at two to three continued the same basic size wound channel all the way to 12 inches where then it started exiting out the side and then the uh, the Winchester yeah, the Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip was this one in the center. Let's see. So that guy, that guy went the full 20 inches. It did not come out the back of the block, but I can see a trail sitting right at the back edge, 20 inches. That guy started expanding one inch into the block, and from about the two inch to nine to 10 inch mark, that is all wound channel and then split up and kind of tapered off after that. So, but it's just as far as a bullet expanding reliably, like being able to, let's say, you know, on a, on a big white tail or on, a, on an elk or something like that, you know, you might want to punch through shoulder bone first and then start your expansion into the vitals. So in that sense, I really like the burger because it stays intact for that first you know, four inches or so, and then expands drastically, completely comes apart, and all those pieces are gonna be separate cuts and wounds, obviously, inside of there, and it doesn't come out the back side. So that's maximum amount of damage contained within. And Burger's not paying me a thing, guys. It's just based on the group that I was able to get, you know, the SDs and ESs are very acceptable, even though 
the Norma technically with my three shot groups was better. The burger was still extremely acceptable for factory match grade ammo. I'm just taking all these things, you know, into account. Now you could say the normal whitetail is very much the same. We had good expansion, although it did start expanding, you know, a lot sooner. The wound channel is very similar in size. It also didn't punch all the way through, but it did go almost that full way through there. Um, I don't know, you know, you can make up your own mind, but I had fun just playing around with this test and trying to figure out, you know, what did typical hunting rounds do at a typical hunting distance? So I'm glad we were able to do that for you guys today. So guys, make sure and check out our sponsors, please. There's a single link in the, uh, in the description of the video now that takes you to the website page where there's all the deals and the coupon codes and the affiliate links there. Make sure if you're in the market for something, might as well save yourself a little bit of money and or help out Precision Rifle Network. And um, just a shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys for constantly supporting month to month. And if you guys want kind of insider information, want to see all the videos first, um, want to support what we're doing here at the channel, want direct access to me where I will give you answer to any and all of your questions directly. Uh, whereas, you know, for other folks, I may not make the time. Um, consider signing up for Patreon as well. It's just Patreon uh, slash PRN. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you got something out of this video and uh, tune in again soon for another great video from Precision Rifle Network.